particular engine operated from 1795 right up to 1926. During its lifetime, this engine pumped out around 40 billion litres of water. Steam, water, condensation, vacuum, whoosh. My name is Gerald O'Brien, uh, born in Olsica. I started at Olsica, Maine in 1971. Growing up we all knew about Industrial Revolution and this was the start of it. This actual beam pump and low pressure steam and then obviously going to high pressure for, uh, for steam engines and, and locomotives and, and st such stuff. Everybody had got a fondness for it because it was a landmark, you know, uh, in, in village. This is what started everything off. This is what, what made us, this, this engine. How did men get that up into air and get it to work? When this first fired up, they'd all been here. You know, there'd have been lords and ladies coming to see this running. It was the Formula One of its day. Amazing piece of uh, engineering and technology. Excellent piece of kit. We were the darkest weather. We smelled the broken sky. We touched the old stained lever. Back in the early 1920s, we did get a visit from Henry Ford, who was going around Europe buying up significant pieces of industrial heritage to take back to his museum. He offered the Fitzwilliam family a blank cheque to buy this engine and take it back with them. Uh, so obviously Henry Ford gave great significance to this particular engine here at Elsica. Back in the uh, early 60s, it was reported in the local paper that the Americans were coming to buy this Newcomen engine. So uh, we got to school and we all got us coats on, we were marched on with teachers and we formed a barrier around as a, as a protest to stop them from buying it. We left the giant Just looking at the size of the beam on the Newcomen pump, it's absolutely fantastic even to think how in 1836 that they could have ever cast a beam this size. Then on top of the pure casting, what they've done is the detail which they've put into the sides alone, just for aesthetic looks. It's approximately 14 to 16 tonnes, I would say. And the day that they did it, they didn't only have to get it here, which was three quarters of a mile away from where it was cast. They actually had to lift it in place. It would have all been ropes and pulley systems just to install it. We watched the distance starting. The engine rumbling. 